In this video, I'm sharing with you one of the most powerful ways that I know to amplify and purify your energy for the purpose of empowering you uh, in your creation and also for the purpose of uh, uh, healing the body, mind and spirit. Stay tuned. My name is Tehesa Pujuna and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you and I have encountered before and if you are a long time subscriber, if you are new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you found us. Uh, again, my name is Tehesa Pujuna and on this channel, I share everything uh, energy, bioenergy and uh, also mindset for creating uh, and manifesting the life that you want, uh, your heart desires, and also for manifesting growth and clients uh, in your coaching. Right? And so in this video, this video is a little bit funny as I was thinking about it earlier. Uh, and like around us, we have so much opportunity to receive energy, especially if you are a coach or you do work where like, sharing your energy with others is you may be hearing the sound of water bags by the way i'm coming to you from beautiful sedona arizona sedona mango garden um i actually have taken quite a, a few shots here from this beautiful setting uh yesterday yesterday evening for you so i'll like input some of uh those clips here before you even get in, into the depth of this video uh this is the location where like like i've said this so many times like there's no other place in the world or at least there is only a few places i can count them in one hand half on my hand uh that have moved my soul and my energy as much as this place has right uh it's not just the fact that it is sedona it is the location itself here it's the location is surrounded by uh vortexes and like anybody who has come here right like i've run run retreats here before and everybody who has come here they have shared with me how much touching it has been uh to their soul uh to be here for their soul to be here anyway so i'm here and i'm sharing some of the clips with you uh it's so beautiful and so gorgeous here and this is the reason why i'm running my next retreat here december retreat is happening december the 8th uh, to December uh, the 12th. Uh, if you want to know more about it, I'll probably have a link uh, below this video where you can uh, really get all the info about it. The whole purpose of that retreat is to open you up energetically so that you can really, really, really uh, experience your true essence, your true self in a way that you've never, ever, ever, I bet, experienced before. Anyway, let's get into the gist of this video. So, uh, we have nature around us, right? We have water, we have trees, we have uh, the earth here, like the red rocks are full of iron, which interacts with uh, the iron in our body, right? Our energy field for purification and all that, right? I really wanted to take this advantage to do this video because I'm in this setting, this most amazing setting. All right, and so one of the most powerful things that I have come to learn and know and experience and feel in my deepest the deep in the, into the the depth of my soul has been utilizing the power of our nature or receiving the innate energy that nature literally has to give us whether it's cosmic energy or whether it's the trees or whether and it's not separate by the way right and so in this video what i'm going to share with you is tree meditation meditating with the tree and uh, I have a funny story about this, right? A long, long time ago, I didn't believe in all this. I was quite the skeptic. Uh, and then when I started awakening my senses of energy, I started feeling like different things. I started feeling nature in a very, very different way. I started opening myself up to receiving uh, energy from nature. And the more I was sharing that uh, with others, the more I was receiving. It was kind of like recycling, right? It helps me, it helped me, and it still helps me rejuvenate, rejuvenate uh, my energy, amplify my energy. You know, it's like purify my energy, right? It's been truly the, one of the most powerful ways of cleansing my energy and, you know, purifying my energy. Uh, and then, like, I started hearing about, oh, you can communicate with trees. And again, part of me was like, maybe, 
right? And then part of me was still skeptic. And then like I evolved from that and I started believing, yes, some people, some people can communicate with trees, but that's not me, right? And I didn't really trust and believe in myself very much. Even though I started sensing and feeling, I didn't really believe uh, in all that. I started, like I was doubting myself. Is that true or am I, am I making this up, right? Until the day, there was one day, this was so hilarious, right? There was one day, I went to, um, I had gone, I had traveled to, to New Zealand and I, I was gone for about 10 days or like 15 days. And um, by then I had plants, right? My plants, like literally, like they became my babies, right? And uh, that's something also that started like touching my heart in a very big way because I started really seeing how, like, I don't even know how to explain this, like the power of plants, like how, or the like your energy can impact the plants right um and how taking care of like it actually helped me ground myself also more by just taking care of plants and i remember as i was going to new zealand i said to my husband please 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 take care of my plants for me while i'm gone please water my plants regularly while i'm gone uh take care of them because you know they need your care now right and so i leave and i go to new zealand for 10 15 days and then i come back this was so hilarious so i come back and i look at my plants and i'm like honey did you water the plants and then he's like yeah yeah, yeah i water the plant this was hilarious and then literally i heard the plants like literally i could sense them say to me oh he only watered us once and then there was one specific plan that says he only watered me half time. And I laughed so hard and I looked at my husband and I said, you know what? I think the plants are saying you only watered, like these plants are saying you only watered them once. And the other plant is like you only watered it uh, half a time. And then he laughed and he said, oh my God, these plants are telling on me. And so what he said was, yes, I watered all the plants once. And then there was only a little bit of water left in the container. And then I gave that other plant just a little bit. And I said, okay, the plants told on you. That day was such a huge confirmation for me. Like all doubts went away. All doubts went away uh, for me when it came to that, right? Um, and so I started really communing and receiving more and more energy uh from the trees uh from then on like this tree here this is such a powerful tree almost every single time i come here i come to this tree i do meditation here i do videos sometimes here and yesterday when i came back so i i came back i came to my i came to sedona the day before yesterday but it was late in the evening so i didn't get to do anything so first thing yesterday i came here and the first thing I did was I asked for permission, which I'm going to share with you in a minute. I asked the tree for permission to first greeting and then ask for the tree's uh, permission to meditate, right? It has such a huge power to actually heal your body. Right? I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in a minute. And then the tree was like, oh, I'm so glad you're back. Welcome back. It was so welcoming, right? Somebody else may see this video and be like, there's a, you are out of your mind. You are cuckoo. What the hell are you talking about? And I completely understand you because that was me maybe 13 years ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe not even like, maybe, maybe eight years ago. I completely understand, you know, but like what I really, really highly suggest is to have your own experience and your own experiment, right? And so in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can do uh, tree meditation and how you can receive and purify your energy through tree meditation. It's very simple really. Nature is here. It's really always available to us. Pure cosmic energy is always, always available to us. All we need is our intent, right? Our intent to say, yes, I'm, I'm you know, our intention. I'm here. I'm willing to receive. I'm open to receiving, right? And so the first thing I usually do is I greet the tree. I greet the tree, right? And then I say hello to the tree. I hope, there you go. I say hello to the tree. And then I ask for permission, is it okay? Is it okay for me to be here with you? To commune with you here, right? So if you don't have the ability to really, or if you don't trust in your ability to sense and feel 
uh, the tree's response, that's completely okay at the very least. Recognize that this is some like an entity, something that is here, right? A being, right? Maybe not a human being, but it's a, like a part of part of part of uh, uh, our cosmos, right? And then the moment that you ask or ask permission or to get in here, like you know, excuse yourself to come and really like intrude because we are kind of becoming one with the energy of the tree. Oftentimes, so for me now, it's very easy to just come here and literally I already feel the, the, the energy of the tree. But I literally, by doing this, I already feel the energy of the tree. So if you're not sensitive to energy, the first thing that I'll recommend you do is to simply rub your hands, rub your hands together. I hope you can still see me. Rub your hands together like this. And then when you rub your hands together, then open your hands and then feel, focus on the space of your hand. This is literally just sensitizing your brain so that you can feel the energy sensation, right? So when you start feeling this energy sensation, then, then you can bring it to the tree and without touching the tree, literally stay here then the moment you start feeling the tree stay here and focus and feel how your mind starts becoming clearer your heart lighter your whole body's energy starts becoming can say once you are done you can often do this for five minutes ten minutes or even just a couple of minutes is enough and then you can say thank you I often will say thank you to the tree I appreciate you so much thank you for purifying me thank you for refreshing my energy mm. and then it is as simple it's as simple as that. It, it feels really refreshing to me right now. Uh, this is so such a powerful way to renew your energy. It's one way to ground yourself. It is one way to... This is literally first and second chakras. Uh, your lower chakras, which is literally about the earth and feeling grounded. Uh, and your power, really, of creation. Literally related to your power of creation your power of manifesting and materializing uh in the physical realm right so i really wanted to share this video with you uh from here at sedona mago uh and uh again now i'm going to continue really uh my my presence here just being here for a couple of days my energy has opened up so much i mean like even before we started uh the training that i'm here for my energy has started opening like I woke up uh, in the morning yesterday and I was like, oh my God, my whole body's energy, my channel opened up so much already, right? And today it's continuing and I'm here for another six days or five days and it's going to be very purifying, right? And so hopefully, I hope that uh, you and I get to experience this uh, soon here, uh, you know, like the same. So again opening yourself up opening your channels up right getting back to the essence of who we truly are beyond everything beyond our past history 
beyond our past memories, beyond our past painful uh, experiences, beyond our emotions, beyond our preconceptions, beyond all that. Underneath all that is the brightest and truest part of who we are, right? Uh, you know, it's like, and it's literally about opening up our channels, literally about opening our, our, up our channels so that we can feel that and experience that. Um, it's not about thinking about it. It's not about knowing about it. It's not about, you know, reading about it in a book or anything like that. It's literally about experiencing it through our body, through our body. And for me, it's truly, truly magnificent. And I come here often because it's such a refreshing uh, each time I come here, I go back really renewed and refreshed and uh, so much more centered uh, for my goals and for my vision um, in life. Anyways, I hope that we get to experience, that you get to come here and experience uh, this retreat with me soon. Again, the next one is December. If you're interested, uh, link um, in the in bio uh, for you to get all uh, the information about it. I love you. Before I go, if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure that you do subscribe and share this review with anyone you feel this might be helpful to. If you've done three meditation before, let me know uh, in the comments before. If this is the first time uh, you've ever done it or you've ever heard of it, I just want to know all about it. What your experience uh, has been once uh, you've tried it. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.